Darius Dalton and Kiki Palmer have just admitted that they have been playing a joke on us this entire time. Because my mom's a Virgo, my brother's a Virgo, my best friend's a Virgo, my grandma's a Virgo. My partner in crime's a Virgo, so it's just like... Yeah. It's been a very nasty couple of weeks since Darius was accused of humiliating Kiki on social media. But Kiki has acknowledged that the whole ordeal was orchestrated to promote her song with Usher. Fans are very upset, and they are basically accusing Kiki of being shady because she has been tricking us this whole time. Baby daddy Darius Jackson hitting us with the Uno reverse. They were just on live together celebrating Kiki's 30th birthday. It is sweet to see them celebrating out together. Do we think they're back together? Or maybe they were never even broken up and the joke is on us. It turns out that Kiki and Darius were pulling a publicity stunt and playing the entire time. So believe me when I say that Kiki Palmer's Leal tricks are the most absurd thing I've heard in a while. Remember how Darius attempted to make Kiki feel bad for dancing at Usher's concert? Well, they have been laughing behind our backs because the whole thing was planned. It all began a few weeks ago when Kiki went to Usher's residency performance in Las Vegas, where he serenaded her like he frequently does at his concerts. Darius then shamed Kiki on Twitter, saying, It's the outfit, though. You're a mom. At first, people weren't sure what to make of it because they wondered if he was trying to give her an odd compliment or if he was shaming his baby mama on Twitter for all to see. However, Darius made a second tweet in which he doubled down, essentially confirming that he was shaming Kiki. He said, We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. He was ridiculed for being a lunatic because of how he attempted to come for Kiki. People believed that if he had a problem with her clothing or that she was dancing all over Usher, he could have discussed this with Kiki in private. But he made the decision to defame her online right away. Fans of Kiki were not having it. Also, the fact that Kiki had previously spoken about her relationship and that she detested discussing personal matters on social media made the situation worse. Whatever that we're going through, is we talking about that in the closet like we uh -huh. ain't nobody like it's on some like he's got a twin brother uh -huh. <laughs> like i'm not discussing that so sure the fact that darius brought their dirty laundry to social media and received a lot of backlash for it became a very significant matter but do you want to know what was strange about everything what could be stranger than darius's chaotic internet persona well, it's the fact that Kiki still appeared to play right into the drama with some additional drama of her own, which is a bit strange for someone who claims to not enjoy bringing personal drama online. She started by posting photos of herself from the concert wearing the same outfit that Darius had dissed, along with a caption. I wish I had taken more pictures, but we were running late, and I'm telling y'all right now, if you haven't seen Usher, you must go. He was so fabulous. In a TikTok video, Kiki also made fun of Darius by using the sound effect, If you gonna act up, I'm about to link up. She didn't stop there either, as she went on to design merchandise with the slogans, I'm a mother, and Stevie to the BS, which were blatant allusions to Darius's remarks on social media. She did an excellent job of making the most of the drama around her relationship for someone who didn't want to deal with it in the public eye. But the fact that the people had some sort of opinion on Darius probably also aided her cause. In fact, long before the whole Usher incident, Kiki's followers had already expressed the opinion that Darius was only with her for a place to live, and that he was only there for her money. But given that their relationship ended a few months into it, it wasn't the first time he had called her out. He shaded her on Instagram, saying, If you aren't serious about growth, be serious about accountability. If you are serious about abundance, be serious about gratitude. If you are serious about intimacy, be serious about vulnerability. If you're serious about discipline, be serious about delayed gratification. Therefore, it wasn't difficult for people to accept that Darius was nasty to Kiki. As I have mentioned, he was dragged for days. He had to temporarily delete his Twitter because things had gotten out of hand. Even worse, he was exposed by a girl on Instagram for sneaking into her DMs and promising to fly her out, supposedly so that they could do the nasty. The woman exposed him by posting a screenshot of his message writing, not Kiki baby daddy in my DM. Now this got him even more in trouble with Kiki's fans, and they started begging her to dump him because they believed that she could do way better than him. And after a few days, it appears that Kiki really did dump him. On social media, they stopped following one another, and Darius even went so far as to remove photos of them from his Instagram, which was somewhat petty, 
and supported the notion that they had broken up. The drama didn't end there, though, as Kiki later joined Usher on a song that was essentially a reference to the whole drama with Darius. As I previously mentioned, some felt that Kiki had been prolonging the drama a little, and this seemed to confirm their suspicions. But if that wasn't messy enough, the song was titled Boyfriend, and the song opened up with a clear reference to Darius's shaming comments about Kiki and her outfit at Usher's concert. Okay, so she was certainly at ease dragging out her love life in public for someone who doesn't want it to be. And this is when rumors began to spread that perhaps there was more going on than first appeared. Fans began to question if there was more going on than we were aware of. Around this time, insiders who confirmed Kiki and Darius's breakup spoke with People magazine saying, He's moved on and just wants to focus on his acting career and put the drama behind him. And as for how he's going to co-parent with Kiki, this is what he said, You don't have to be in the same household to be good parents. But it turns out that Kiki and Darius had a much larger plan, and everything was part of it. An insider claims that the entire Kiki vs. Darius drama and breakup was manufactured as promotional material for the Boyfriend song, because in Hollywood, there is no such thing as bad press. If this insider is correct, the drama was fake from the beginning. Um, begin where Darius publicly humiliated her, and she repeatedly clapped back at him. If this is the case, I have to admit that everything, from the clapbacks to the unfollowing of each other on social media, to the removal of their Instagram photos, was carefully thought out. She was even savvy enough to capitalize on the issue by creating merchandise. In all honesty, I can't even be angry because if true, that's some incredible marketing. And it appears that the drama was real, despite what the insider claimed, as Kiki recently celebrated her 30th birthday with Darius. People were speculating that Darius might have lost his cool when he saw her booty cheeks in these photos when she released them on her 30th birthday. So you can imagine how surprised we were when Darius broadcast a live Instagram video of him and Kiki celebrating Kiki's birthday. Then we verified that they were still together. Thus it appears that Kiki and her partner triumphed and severely misled us. They must have laughed the entire time. Fans reacted to this by saying Kiki Palmer and her man are a great example of why you should never involve your significant other in a publicity stunt, which makes them look weird because now her man will never be able to move on with his life because the internet now hates his guts. This is the most Kiki Palmer has ever been talked about, so I guess the publicity stunt went exactly as planned. But this other person said, quote, y'all think everything is a publicity stunt. Kiki Palmer baby daddy is your typical hating man who got in his feelings and ran to social media. She is your typical baby mama who's still hanging with her baby daddy. Anyway, let us know what you think about this reunion in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.